Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Sharita. Welcome. If you are a returning viewer, well, thank you so much for all the love and the continued support of my channel. Today's video is a Sister Locks update, you guys. I know my Sister Locks community on here be like, girl, can you stop with all these fragrance videos and give us an update on your hair? Well, today we're getting all into it. My babies have turned two years old. Yes, I don't know where the time has gone, but we're two years in and I'm here with an update. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so I always like to start these updates with a little bit of backlog, backstory for those who you know are new to the channel. All right, so I locked my hair June 28th, 2020. And I started this journey with 15 to 17 inches of hair. You look at where my hair falls and you would not think that, but these things shrink so much that it is absolutely insane. I mean, let me stand up. Y'all don't mind my little, I hope y'all don't see my little pants I have on, but I mean, these, these shrink a lot. Like they come all the way down to like my, my waist. <laughs> and you would not think that. So first of all, the shrinkage is real, okay? Don't think you you escape from shrinkage anytime soon with your hair locked. Um, my install was done by Ifraj Suhad. I will link her information in the description box. I am still using the same loctician primarily. I do have a backup consultant, Nakia, who I also use and I will be seeing her this weekend for my retie. So when I started my journey, I was on a four week schedule. Um, a few months ago, I went over to six weeks. My hair has not been having any slippage issues. Um, so we, my consultant felt comfortable with moving me up to a six week uh, maintenance schedule. So this is what they're looking like, you know, hopefully my hair ain't dirty. <laughs> because I do need to wash before my retie, but this is what my locks are looking like. They're locking beautifully, okay? Um, are they fully locked yet? Absolutely not. <laughs> like I still have tons of curly ends. And for my sisters that are not wanting to cut their hair, that want to start the journey with long hair, that's perfectly fine. Just know that depending on your hair texture, it may take a long time. I mean, look at, look at my hair, like, I still have so many little curlies and you know, my hair probably won't fully lock. I, I'm estimating like year four, maybe year four, everything will be fully locked, but I'm doing everything as I'm supposed to be doing. I'm not putting a sense of water in my hair. I wear my shower cap. I don't use any conditioners. Uh, I wash once or twice between retires, but nothing more than that. Um, you know, doing everything by the book, but that still doesn't mean that your hair is going to lock fast. Everyone is not going to lock in, you know, one to two years, six months, like, depends on how long your hair started, depends on your hair texture type. So just know that your journey is your journey. It is not her journey. It is not this other woman's journey. It is your journey. And the sooner you realize that, the more enjoyable your journey will be for you. If you're comparing, like, oh my God, her hair locked in in eight months. Her hair was fully locked in one year. Okay, comparison, no point of it because no one's lock is going to, to behave like yours. And that, that's kind of the beauty of this journey. So I'm finally like, really seeing the growth in my locks. It took a while for me to really start seeing like thickening up and growth. And you're going to see that your hair thickens up well before it uh, gets length. Okay, and I'm fine with that. Um, it, sometimes it takes me literally looking at comparison pictures like, oh, my hair's really starting to get some length. Um, but it will happen, it will happen. Trust me, it will happen. I really don't focus too much on, oh my God, how fast is it, how fast is it growing? How fast is it getting length? I've let all that go. 
I'm very comfortable with my journey. I am loving the way my hair looks. Like I can stay curly forever for all I care. I love the way my curly ends look. I love it. A lot of people ask me about my color. I do not color my locks. I colored my hair two days before my install and I have not touched my hair with color since. I feel like I'm at the point now where I do want to get the toner touched up just because I feel like, it's kinda hard to see, but I feel like it's kinda losing that brown honey look and it's starting to turn like a little ashy blonde in some areas and I don't know if the camera's just, it's probably not really picking up on on that, but I'm never going to add more bleach to my actual locks. And the reason for that, that's going to thin out my, like, lock, sis locks are already tiny, they're thin, they're small, they're strong, but they're not thick, okay? So if bleaching thins out your hair, and it does, it will, especially locks, um, that's gonna be an issue. I don't want the texture of my locks changing. I don't want the curl pattern to change. I love the way my hair is. So toner, yes, to kind of touch up these areas that have already been bleached. I will do that, but I'm not going to add any bleach to a Velox mix, period, point blank. Um, yeah, haven't touched it with color since before I locked and let me tell you, your colors are gonna last, okay? Provided that you have something like highlights or if you're coloring everything from root to tip, yeah, you're gonna have to keep that up because your roots aren't gonna match. But do highlights. If you want to have color, do highlights so you're not forced to be adding color and going through these chemical processes like every few months, every time your new growth comes in. Like that's just my suggestion. Um, you know, do it or it floats your boat, but I have balayage highlights. And so it's just, it's always looked beautifully highlighted, perfectly highlighted since I got my locks. And I just, like, I love the way it looks. I love it, love it, love it, love it. And I don't think I'll be able to achieve something so dimensional if I had colored and bleached the locks in its lock state. So that's why I was really sure to go ahead and do the color part before I locked. Now. Know that if you wanna try color and you're already locked, it's gonna come with a waiting period. Period, because uh, most people are not gonna to wanna to do that to locks that are not fully, you know, mature. So that's just a tip. If you're thinking about color and you haven't locked, go ahead and color before, and I highly recommend doing like a highlight color look. Do I have any regrets? Absolutely not. But I tell you, you, you have no idea how freeing it's going to be to wake up and not have to put a single thought into your hair. None. <laughs> the only time I think about my hair is when I'm looking at my calendar and I see I got a retie coming up at the end of the month or six weeks. That's it. I, oh, I gotta, I gotta make sure I wash my hair, get up early that morning, wash my hair before my retie. That's it. That is the only thought I have to put into my hair. I'm not a big person to, you know, be rotting, styling, braiding, like I, Listen, my hair is in a bun, <laughs> a loose bun for work, or it's down. And I wanted the freedom to do nothing and look fabulous, and that's what I'm doing. So I don't spend a lot of time with all these extravagant styles. Like, some people are just like, I've always been low maintenance, you know, very few hairstyles type of girl, even before I locked. And that's just who I am. So. Unfortunately, you're not gonna get a bunch of styling videos out of me. I'm, I'm just not the girl for that because it's just not how I am in real life. Um, very hectic, busy schedule. And I just think I look fabulous as is. So that's what we're rocking with, all right? Um, <clears throat> um, but yeah, no regrets, just because I don't have anything negative to say about my journey so far. Um, I feel like the biggest challenge has been just the waiting game. I've stated that time and time again. Um, in my videos, it's just a waiting game. I can't wait for these things to touch my ass, <laughs> okay? But it's gonna take years for me to get there. Once my hair is fully locked and I'm not spending so much, you know, of my growth, you know, it shrinking up into the lock and it's just like really accumulating length, then I'm going to, they're gonna get long fast. But right now I'm still in the locking process. My hair is still shrinking up into the lock 
And that's fine. Like, I'm, I'm fine because guess what? I'm really satisfied with how I look. If someone told me that this is it, this is how my locks are gonna look, I would be totally fine with that. I never felt like I went through an ugly phase. Yes, when you first get your install for like the first one or two weeks, it's gonna look a little scalpy, but it just wasn't a big thing for me. Like I thought I was gonna feel unattractive for like two years. <laughs> that is a myth, okay? Every, everyone does not go through that phase. Like I never felt like I went through that phase. I always felt attractive with my locks. And like I say, everybody's journey is different. Um, I felt like because I started with longer hair, it, I just didn't go through that big awkward phase. Like a lot of people do like when they start with four inches of hair, you know, and then it's like in these little micro tiny uh, logs, you may go through an awkward period, but believe me, all of that is gonna be worth it in the end. I just came back from vacation. Do you know, I used to have to take off the day before vacation, spend a whole day getting my hair braided, hair done, buy the hair, like all this stuff to do just to go out of town. I don't have that worry anymore. Not at all. Don't even have to worry about a retie. Like I feel attractive after my retie, mid retie, just before retie. Like I'm always, I'm always put together and that is just something I love about having these. Listen, some people think that the retie maintenance uh, costs are just ex exorbitant, expensive. I don't think so. The amount that most black women spend on their hair, okay, just getting a, a wash and press child, getting these units installed, getting the sew-ins, getting the, we are accustomed to spending on the hair, okay? Um, for relaxers, like, Come on, like this is not, we not new to this. I spend 125 roughly on a retie every six weeks. That is all the money I put into my hair. I rarely have to buy products because all I'm doing is wash shampooing. I put a little bit of oil on my scalp after shampoo, um, but that's it. Like I'm not buying gels, I'm not buying conditioners, I'm not buying, you know, all of these things that have to go into loose hair. I don't have to worry about brushes, combs, none of that. A little toothbrush to slick these edges. Um, but that's about the extent of it. Like, you're going to save money long term, period. Just depending on your practices. Now, if you've always been a girl that, that, that has worn a fade and you can cut your hair yourself, yeah, I get it. Like, coming up with $125, every six weeks, there may be something else, but you always have the option to learn how to self retie. Me, I have no interest in doing that. I just wanna go ahead and get it knocked out in two, two and a half hours. My reties take about two and a half hours, to so maybe four, just depending on what consultant. My regular lactician, I'm in and out. Two hours, two and a half tops, okay? And I have over 530 locks. I started with 534 locks. I've combined a couple, I've added a couple, so I have no idea what the count is right now, but it's not too far off from where I started. So you have to think, like that's a lot of locks, but she's very fast. She's been doing sister locks specifically, um, you know, for over a decade, so she's very fast. Like people don't believe me when I say that it only takes two and a half hours at the most for her to retie my hair. That's just a fact. Now my new other backup consultant, Nakia, she is a lot newer to um, servicing sister locks. So she is not as fast, but four hours, you know, to commit to my hair every six weeks is not like, that's all the, that's all the time that I'm committing for six weeks. Washing my hair, I have a very simple routine. I used to do a lot of braids um, with the bands, but I switched to braiding and clipping my ends with like the big, you know, like little uh, clips on the end uh, because the band-aids were just, it was too time consuming to put them in and take them out. So I would braid in several sections, but now since my hair is like, it's locked up here. So I don't have to worry about a lot of stuff getting mixed up, combining. Like I just do like four to six big plaits. I don't even have to um, clip the ends anymore because they don't come out. Like they're they're very comfortable in, in what they're doing and in their place. So 
four to six braids, get in there, shampoo it two to three times, and that's it. Take the braids out, like, these are very low maintenance. I don't understand how people are like, they just seem high maintenance. Like, I just, compared to what? Compared to, to, to freeform locks, sure. <laughs> Maybe compared to some traditional locks where you can get your hair, you know, retwisted or retightened whenever you feel like it every three to four months. Yeah, I get that. But tr like when you're comparing it to someone who is loose natural, loose relaxed, this is very low maintenance. Um, yeah, so I love the fact that it's low maintenance for me and my lifestyle. I love the fact that I don't have to put daily thought into my hair. You automatically are put together. You look great. Okay, I'm going out. Only thing I'd be concerned about is doing makeup and what I'm wearing. The hair is never a factor because it's always done. Now, bunching, have I experienced any? No, I think I, I um, there may be one in here. I don't even know if, if I would be able to find it, honestly, right now, but I have one that I feel like is starting to bunch and I think it's actually because there was like, you know how you get the little uh, accumulated balls on the end? When it starts to, when it's still in that locking phase, you get these little things right here. Can you see that? I'm trying to let y'all see it. <laughs> these little things, some of them fall off and sometimes like they're hanging on by a strand and you just pull it. I did that to one of my locks, which you should not do by the way. And I think that one has started to bunch, but as a whole, no, I don't have any slippage issues. I don't have any bunching issues. Um, and I think just because I'm very low maintenance with how I treat my sister locks, I think that contributes to it. I don't do a lot of fussing, a lot of styling, and it's worked out for me. Like, be low maintenance because that's why we got these. Like, that's why I got them, okay? I'm trying to do as little as possible to my hair. And you, you will find that you're gonna experience uh, less slippage, less bunching, less problems, less thinning, less of everything when you leave your hair alone. That's something I learned when I was still relaxed, when I was um, loose natural. The less you put your hands in your hair, the less you're manipulating your hair, the better for your hair. And that goes with being locked as well. Have I had any problems with lint? No. That is a myth that you will be battling lint all of your days while your sister locked. Do what makes common sense. If you find that you washing your hair once every eight weeks, your hair is dirty, it's filled with stuff, you may wanna wash more often than once every eight, nine, 10 weeks, okay? You're sleeping without a bonnet on and you got white sheets made out of cotton. Yeah, you, you probably gonna have lint issues, okay? Pay attention to your clothes, what you're wearing. If you know you wore a white cotton t-shirt that day, go through your hair that night. Like I'm probably gonna go through here tonight and just check, make sure I don't have any visible loose like balls of lint because you leave that in there, it's going to get wrapped up in your lock and then it's going to be very problematic to pick it out and take it out without jeopardizing the integrity of the lock. Like I picked out um, some lint that was like back up here in this area, like my nape is probably the only area where I would get a little lint. And because of that, like I try to get in there and get that out as soon as I see it, because once it's in there, it's in there. Like I've tried to take some from the ends and literally I'm like having to undo the lock to get a ball of lint out. So you want to stay on top of lint, um, but if you're shaking your hair, if you're wearing a bonnet, if you're washing your hair as needed, you're not going to have a huge issue with lint. Stay ahead of it and then you won't have to be battling it. Like, it's just like, don't believe the hype. You're not going to spend half of your days picking lint out of your hair. If you have heavy oils in your hair, it's probably gonna attract a lot of lint. If you're not washing your hair like you should, not saying you need to be washing it every you know, week or, I'm not saying that, but, it's, it's just gonna just depend like on what your hair needs. My hair doesn't accumulate a bunch of stuff. 
so I don't have to wash it that much. I wear it up in a bun a lot for work, so it's not brushing up against my clothes throughout the day. Those things, they, they, that's what you have to take into account. So like I said, everything is individual. Do what works for you and do what is needed for your hair. Would I recommend Sister Locks? If you are thinking about Sister Locks, do it. <laughs> if you are okay with the maintenance cost, if you are okay with knowing you're gonna be sitting in somebody's chair for two, three days, you know, 12 hours, uh, to get the install, do it. If you are someone that is okay with sticking to a retie schedule, because it is important when you are sister locked to stick to your schedule, uh, to avoid thinning, to avoid breakage, to avoid issues. Uh, if you can stick with the uh, schedule maintenance, do it. Those three things I feel like are gonna be the most important. If you are not with that life, if you feel like you gotta color your hair every six weeks, <laughs> in a new color, green, pink, brown. Like, if you feel like, oh, I'm gonna be really willy-nilly about my retail schedule, I'm gonna go when I feel like it. Okay, no. <laughs> if you are someone that is just really impatient or you like to switch up your hair a whole bunch, probably not for you. But if you're like me, if you want low maintenance, if you don't mind uh, paying for your retails or doing them yourself, and if you don't mind sticking to a schedule, do it. You will not, I'm telling you, you will not regret it. And if you change your mind, you can cut these off and start over like any other locks. You can take these out if you want. Like some people actually have taken out their sister locks. Like it's a thing. You can do it if you don't want to cut your hair off, but it's going to be very time consuming to say the least. I love my locks. I 110% love my locks. I think about it often, like how grateful I am to have started this journey, how much it has saved me so much time, how much it has enriched my life. It has given me so much freedom. I love the way I look. Um, and like, I've never felt better about my hair appearance. Love it. And yes, I would highly recommend it if you're on the fence. Do your research, find a really, really, really good consultant because I think that's gonna be key to your success. Um, and just go for it. Like, if you have not seen my video on why, like, why you should not sister lock, watch that first because I'm gonna lay out everything you need to consider. Once you've watched that and you feel good about it on the inside and you use just like, okay, I think this may be for me, go ahead and do it. You won't regret it. You're gonna love it. And like, most people that get these say the only regret is that they did not lock sooner. And that is how I feel. So you guys, that is our video for today. Be sure to drop me a comment below. Let me know if you're thinking about starting this journey. Let me know where you are in your sister lock journey or your lock journey in general if you are a locked sister. And also make sure you are subscribed to the channel because we do cover fragrance, we cover beauty, and we cover sister locks on this channel. It has been real. I love you all. Make sure you give the video a big thumbs up if you found any value in the content, and I will catch you guys on the next one.